Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today is Monday and it is time for a new video. And today I wanna to share with you one of a series of different projects that I've made for your tack room using things from the Dollar Tree. Yep, all of these projects I made with things that I got from the Dollar Tree. And because this is a pretty involved process, I'm gonna break this up over a couple of videos. And I thought it would be fun to get started with this. And this is a bridal rack slash broom holder slash accessory rack that I made for two different horses using everything from the Dollar Tree. So instead of me sitting here talking about it, let's get crafting. <laughs> All right, so first I have two of these welcome signs with gnomes and some jumbo craft sticks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the hanger from the gnome signs. Now, if you want, you can actually remove the staples too, so you could use the back of this, but I decided that those holes, there's too many holes that are in this wood, so I decided to use the front. Now this does pose its own challenge because see those welcome letters? and all around the edges, there is a lot of glitter. So I had to use a lot of sanding to smooth this down and get all of that glitter off. Now, once the glitter was off both pieces, then I had to secure them together. And at first I thought maybe I'll do it just like that in the middle, but that's not very strong. So I took the craft sticks and lengthwise attached them to the backs of the welcome sign. And this will give a little bit more strength to this sign because it's gonna be pretty big and it's gonna go on a wall, so I don't want it falling apart. So now I can flip it over and paint it. And I found that using chalk paint works really well as a primer because it's a little bit thicker and it coats and covers really well in just a couple of coats. And once my sign was all dry, then it was time to paint it the color I wanted it to be. So for half of the sign, it's gonna be purple as the main color and the other half is gonna be pink. So I just took the purple paint and I painted one side or basically one of the welcome signs with the purple. And this is like a diamond metallic paint. So it's real glossy and it has a lot of shine to it. And I really wanted to make sure I had a very heavy coat of paint because I'm going to be blending these two paints together. So once I did the purple, then it was time to do the pink. And again, this is the metallic, you can see the diamond on the lid, it's a metallic shine paint. And this one I did a lot better of getting a lot of the paint out and I have a nice thick layer of paint that I'm gonna put on this welcome sign, which is going to be all pink. And by using the two welcome signs, I didn't have to worry or measure off right in the center because you can see that line right in the center. That's where I know exactly halfway is. And now that I have one half purple and one half pink, I'm going to pull some of that pink over onto the purple side and just kind of blend it in. This is why it's really important to do this while the paint is wet because I want those two colors to blend together. And then I just added some purple paint to the pink side and did the same thing of just blending everything together so I get some pink and purple on both sides. Wow, 
All right, I am pretty happy with that. So I am going to set that off to dry. And now I'm gonna use my Cricut machine to make some names that are gonna go on my bridal rack. So I just used some permanent vinyl and I cut out some names. And what I didn't show you was once my sign was completely dry, I did take it out into the garage and put a couple of layers of spray high gloss paint onto it because I don't want the vinyl to peel off the paint, which I have had happen in the past. So it has a nice high gloss layer of spray paint. I think it's called triple thick gloss. And then all I had to do was attach the names or the lettering from my vinyl machine. And I'm really happy because of that high gloss finish that I put on it, it didn't peel, the vinyl did not peel any of the paint off when I was removing the backing from the vinyl. So one side says majesty. And this is the other name that's going on this bridal rack, and this says Shiloh. And this is looking like a very nice bridal rack so far. And next I found this really awesome hanger at the Dollar Tree and it holds two brooms and then it has like a utility hook in the center. It does have a self sticking back, but I wanted to make sure this is going to stay in place. So I did apply a little bit of glue. This is like E6000 and I just centered it between the two welcome signs and attached it. And to make it a little bit more secure, there were screw holes. So I did go ahead and attach some screws. Now all that's left to do is put some hooks. And I didn't have any screws for these hooks, but this glue is, like I said, like E6000, but I got it at the Dollar Tree, and it works really well. It's very strong. So I just glued these hooks in place. And before using this, I would let these hooks dry for probably about 24 hours. That way you're gonna get a really good adhesion of that glue onto the surface. And here is my bridal slash accessory rack all done and ready to go to its new home. This project was so much fun and it was so easy. Don't you think it was easy? This is totally something you could duplicate in an afternoon or in a weekend. And you can have a really nice personalized bridal or accessory rack for your tack room. And like I said, this is the first of a series of different DIY tack room projects that you can make using things that you get from the Dollar Tree. So be sure to subscribe and come back on Saturday and I will have the second video of this series ready for you. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.